Hey, what's up guys, Joker here. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to download and install mods for Kingdom Come Deliverance, as well as a few performance tweaks that you can actually do to get a little bit better FPS in the game. So far I have been enjoying the hell out of this game, even though it just came out a couple of days ago, I've already sunk quite a few hours into it. I'm really enjoying the story and the characters, and also the kind of slow and deliberate combat, which is very realistic feeling. Kind of reminds me a little bit of chivalry, but even a little bit more slower paced and realistic than that. So yeah, very much enjoying this game. I can definitely recommend it if you are thinking about picking it up, you can actually go over to cdkeys.com with my affiliate link, which I'll leave down in the description below and you can save yourself a few bucks. It's $47.19 over there right now versus $60 on Steam. So if you do want to get it and save yourself some money, you can go ahead and use that affiliate link down in the description below. But these prices do fluctuate a little bit. It can go a little bit up. It might go down um, depending on really when you're watching this video and when you click the link. But as I said, we're going to be going over mods, so this will take us over to nexusmods.com where they have a Kingdom Come Deliverance page up already, even though the developers, when they were asked before release if they were going to have mod support, they said that they would be answering questions about that at a later date, but so far there have already been some nice mods that have already been posted up over on Nexus Mods. If you want to check these out, I'll link to these down in the description below as well. So we've got about 10 here right now. This is all that's available right now because the game is so new and I'm sure we'll get more mods because yesterday there was only like three or four and then today we're, we've already doubled in size plus a little bit. So very nice that we are seeing these mods going up. The two that I'm most interested in here is the unlimited saving mod as well as the bow.reticle. So the unlimited saving mod basically does what it says. You can save unlimited. Otherwise in the game, what you would have to do is use a drink called Save Your Schnapps if you wanted to save at any point in the game that wasn't a built-in checkpoint. So that could be kind of annoying and I just wanted to have unlimited saves honestly because I kept getting set back in combat and I had lost like 40 minutes of gameplay at one point. So I was really happy to see this mod become available. Once you go over here, you just go to the files page and you just come down and click the one that you want. For this particular one, there are actually two versions. So the one I'm using is the no schnapps version, but they also have a schnapps version, which requires you to keep at least one schnapps in your inventory, but it will not be consumed. I just found that to be an unnecessary step to be required to have a schnapps in my inventory. So I'm just using the no schnapps version. That way I could take all my schnapps and sell them to the marketplace. <laughs> Not the marketplace, they don't have a marketplace, like the, the, the shopkeepers is what I should say. So yeah, that's the one That's the one I went with. So once you download it, you just want to go ahead and find your download wherever you put it, and probably in your downloads folder. So we're going to open that here, and I've got it in my KCD mods folder. Actually, I'm not using the skip intro one. I didn't really like the skip intro because it kind of left the black screen up for like 10 or 15 seconds, so didn't really care too much for that one. But once you have it, we we'll go ahead and delete that again. This is basically what you'll have. You just want to go ahead and extract it. So extract here, or you can do extract files if you want it in a little folder. And then you get this .pack file. So once you got that, you're just going to right click it, go down to copy, and then go to wherever your game is installed. So if you have it on Steam, it would be wherever your Steam folder is under the common and apps folder. So I'll just go to my folder right now. And once you get into the Kingdom Come Deliverance folder, you want to go to the data folder. This is one you're going to be concerned with for this particular mod and probably many of the others as well. But once in here, you just want to right click and then go ahead and hit paste. You won't have to replace any files, but I'm going to do it just for argument's sake, just to show you what happens. There you go. It's copied and pasted in, and now you will have unlimited saving and in, 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 modded into the game. That is it. When it comes to the other mod here, the bow.reticle, this one has a different method. It's actually, a, it's more or less a config tweak, although the game doesn't have a user.cfg file to begin with. But if you go to the bow.reticle page, you can come down here and it actually tells you to just add it to a user.cfg, which I had already created for another tweak, which I'm going to show you along with this. So to do this, you just want to right click, just uh, highlight it, I should say, highlight this line of text right here, right click it, copy and then go back into your folder. And now we want to go into the bin folder as opposed to the data one. This is where the game's executable actually is into bin, then win 64. And you can see the game's executable here. And now we are going to right click once more and we're going to go down to new. And what we want to do in here is create a new text document. And we want to completely rename this, get rid of the .txt extension. And we want to just name this user dot cfg you'll probably get a little prompt up to say are you sure you want to change this because the file might become unusable but this is a known extension so it's absolutely fine just hit yes and now you've got a blank text file where you can add in 
many different uh, command lines, which will probably become more known and more available as time goes on in the future. But for the one that we just got, I'll go ahead and paste it in here, control V, and then you can just go ahead and save that. And then you'll have a reticle for when you're aiming your arrow. Now, I mentioned before that we have a couple of more uh, tweaks that we could do here in the user CFG. So let's go in here right now. We could see unlock FPS during cutscenes. This was something that I wanted to do because otherwise it will cap the FPS to 60. So I went in here and I got these two lines right here, R underscore VSync, control C. Go back to our folder once again, go to the next line and paste that in. And then we've got one more line in here for 144 for the max system FPS which is what this person set it to by default, but you can change that value if you want. So if you're running something like a 240 hertz monitor, you can go ahead and back that up and then put in 240 if you want, or put it at 999. Really, you could put it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and close out of that and just make sure you hit save right at the end, and then you're good to go. You'll have the uh, bow dot reticle. You'll also have VSync turned off and the system max FPS set to whatever value you put in here for the cutscenes. Go ahead and save that. And then we are done with that. Now, I did mention there was also a tweak for increasing your FPS, which is mentioned over here on this website here is called PC Gaming Wiki. Great website. I, I recommend you bookmark this because you could search up any game you want here and they will usually have tweaks, things you can do to maybe improve the experience, sometimes uncapped frame rates, things along those lines. And they'll usually tell you where save files are, config folders, everything like that that you might need to know about a game on the PC is on here. So absolutely fantastic website. But this is the one we're going to be concerned with in here is to increase the FPS. So this is actually going to increase the amount of RAM that you can allocate to the game from your system memory. So you, if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, you would use this line right here. Or if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you would use this one right here. So that's the one I'm going to go ahead and use. You just highlight it, hit control C to copy it or right click and copy whatever you want to do, whatever your preference. And then we're going to go ahead and minimize down out of this and kind of come over here to my desktop shortcut right click that go to properties and as you can see i've already got mine in here so we're going to be looking at the target window right here by default you'll just have basically that up to the to the last end quote so once you get to the last end quote you just go ahead and put a space paste in what we just copied over from pcgamingwiki.com so this is the one for the 16 gigabytes hit ok and then you're good to go and you should get a decent little performance bump what i seem to notice it the most with was for it would it wouldn't take as long to load in between some different areas sometimes the game would kind of hitch along a bit and doing that tweak seemed to help a lot with that although i wasn't getting like a ton more fps it just kind of seemed to make the game more stable for me overall so that's all i've got for you guys today on the mods and hopefully we'll get some more mods in the future and graphics mods and maybe we could do like a top 10 mods at some point down the road once more become available as, as i said a couple times Really enjoying this game, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for it when the modding community gets more active on this game as time goes by. But if you enjoyed this video at all and you learned something new, don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already. If you have been here for a while and you want to see all the videos that come to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. And once again, if you do want to save some money on Kingdom Come Deliverance, you can use my affiliate link over to cdkeys.com, which is down in the description below. And I'll catch you all next time. Tara.